my lighting is really terrible. I don't have any like overhead lights. There's just lamps. But these are, this is a crinoid fossil necklace. It's 310 million years old, the fossils themselves. Um, my family's been making them ever since before I was born. A lot of family friends have them. I think one person, <laughs> the dog wants to come smell them. That's <laughs> my pug Nova. <laughs> She's very snorty. Anyway, uh, one person actually turned kind of an orange color to their skin, but they uh, can change to, to the skin. My husband's already pretty beaten up because he's a landscaper, so, but his, uh, his skin polished his. Mm, I apologize for the terrible lighting. Anyways, grenade. Fossils are sea lilies or sea feathers, if you want to look them up. They're 310 million years old. The insides of them are actually contain calcite crystals, which um, is really good for protection. This necklace here would probably be worth quite a bit because you can't find big stones like this. This is a man's necklace. Maybe after I get my hair done, I can show you a picture of me wearing them, but... His are all beaten up because he's a landscaper, so they've fallen quite a few times. He's had a couple of repairs, a couple of replacements, but his stones are really big, so they're pretty hard to replace to find matches that are this size. So this one right here, I believe it's his original middle stone. Um, a lot of men like to wear these. Men that would never wear a necklace would be more likely to wear one of these. <laughs> We've had people when we're wearing them be like, oh are those bones? No, they're not bones, <laughs> but they, in a way, it's like the skeletal system. It's a crinoids are a plant-like animal, so they had they didn't have a brain, but they had something that was similar to a brain that, um, like a vascular system that helped them grab their food and so they could eat and stuff. Um, they're part crystal, so like I said, which they're my favorite necklace too. When I was probably five or six, I had one with a piece of tiger's eye in the middle. Well, I ended up losing it, and some girl got it, and I wanted to take it from her, but I didn't, and I think she lost it later, so maybe somebody cool got it. I don't know. But me and fairy frequencies are supposed to be in the making right now, so... Hopefully, we will have ours on later to show you. But yeah, they're really cool. My lighting is terrible. I suppose I could turn my flash on. I'm not even sure how to work it. My dog keeps smelling them. What do you want, Nova? He's got some broken ones, too. But all this would be like, this needs cleaned, like the stem of the sea feather or sea lily. And they lived in the ocean. And they also lived in shallow water. Well, they got to where they could live in shallow water because at first I think they just lived in the ocean. They're very cool. My favorite fossil. I like a lot of fossils, but... They are still alive today. So, like, I don't know that... You'd have to be, like, probably a really cool scoop diver or something. To, but I don't know, because they're way deep down in the ocean, so I'm not sure. But I know there's been some films done on them. 
So somebody got down there, whether it was an underwater camera or what. I don't know, but they like to live really deep where they used to live. They also developed um, kind of like feet to walk. So there's walking crinoids. It's not feet, but it's like kind of like their roots. Like they, I guess because they couldn't get the food they were eating, they had to move. So at first they couldn't move at all. They were grounded and then... I know I've seen videos somewhere of them walking with their, like, they started walking <laughs> with their roots. I don't know how to explain it, but they're really cool. So, yeah, if you like fossils and crystals, these are, like, the coolest thing ever. And the, like, when you look up sea feather pictures, their colors are, like, so amazing. They're, you know, like, hot pink or... They have all different colors, you know, burgundy, purple, teal, pretty much any kind of color you can think of they had. Um, they've also been known for, like, you know, uh, Mayans wearing them, Egyptians for uh, protection. I think the Egyptians wore them for, like, in, like, a breastplate. The Mayans might have, too. So that um, they couldn't get stabbed and stuff. But they're very heavy. Like this is a really heavy necklace. Um, the girl ones are obviously more dainty. But yeah. So that's pretty cool.